Italy monk, Luca Pasoli, he was the person who created the double entry theory. Luca Pasoli is the person who created the double entry theory. Right? Double entry theory. Now, this is a very, very easy, very popular theory still. Double entry theory is a very popular, very easy theory. What that double entry theory says, how to record the transaction. How to record the transaction and how to prepare the financial statement at last. Now, in financial accounting, financial accounting totally is a recording transaction. Recording transaction means that every company, they have a certain things they buy, certain things they sell, certain services they get, and you have to pay for them. You have to get the everything from them. That is called recording transaction. After record, they summarize the transaction. Summarize. Then analyze. Record, summarize, analyze, then interpret. Then interpret. Financial accounting, what we do, or the real role of the financial accounting, role of the financial accounting, you record the transaction, that is the initial stage. Initial stage is this. You record the transaction, transaction means the buying, selling, get the service, paying. Now here what I teach, right, at University of Moratua, and myself have a kind of agreement to teach, that's a recording transaction, all initiated by the information. Right, now a recording transaction, summarize transaction, analysis, and interpret the uh, transactions and all kind of things connected to the role of financial accounting. In the output of the financial accounting is preparation of financial statement. Financial statements, preparation of financial statement, that is the most important thing, financial statement. The financial statements are three type. Financial statements are three type, actually four exactly, four type. One we call income statement. Now you want to study these things very beginning income statement. Then, right, we call equity, statement of equity, as a short equity statement, equity statement. Then cash flow statement, cash flow statement, very important statement. Then financial performance, Statement of financial performance. That is sometimes we call balance sheet. It is a little old word, balance sheet. Financial performance or a statement of financial performance, statement of income statement, state of, uh, statement of equity, right? A statement of cash flow, right? Those are the financial statements. Now, the objective of each statement are different. Objectives of the each statement are different. Income statement, we prepare to understand the net profit or net loss of the organization. Net profit or net loss of the organization. That is the main purpose of preparation of income statement, net profit or net loss. Then equity statement. Owner's right, owner's right, owner's right, the right of the owner. The cash flow statement, cash received and payment, cash received and cash payments, cash received and cash payment during the year, 
read during the period cash received and payment balance sheet to ascertain the assets and liabilities assets and liabilities what are the liabilities and assets for a given date in an organization assets and liabilities now you can see here actually this is a very basic stuff but very important for you to understand i will summarize again and again that is my nature in teaching financial statements that is the output of the financial accounting all transactions the raw data in your point of view we record the transaction summarize it analyze it and interpret it and finally we prepare financial statements financial mean only money matters finance word is all rupees all dollars all money that is the nature that is why i told you we are dealing with accounting information all monetary information monetary information then financial word it's nothing other than the financial you can't get financial word mean it's a monetary it's all the information you can be measured in a money wise the money the rupee and dollar wise those are the things including under all these four statements when you look at the income statement now in the next week you have to bring your own company annual report right there is a report called annual report every year especially listed companies they they make annual reports they publish annual reports other than the listed companies also prepare the annual it's a compulsory it's a compulsory you can't pay tax without preparation of the financial statement in the listed companies is highly compulsory and disclosed disclosed mean they have to reveal the information to general public the listed companies mean the companies who are listed in the colombo stock exchange they get the money from the general public they issue the shares to the general public and get the capital from the normal general public then they have a right those companies have a right to show up their financial statement they have reveal the financial statement we call disclose the financial statement to general public compulsory there's an act the company acts there we have to follow this company act and compulsorily do this if not they, they delisted hmm? they, they, the the government have a uh, right to stop the company as well and make penalties if they don't do this is kind of a good governance nowadays everybody talk about the good governance practice what company really done they have to show to the others they can't hide the information that was the one reason last government totally uh, misplaced or uh, vanished honestly speaking they didn't follow the good governance practices everywhere everybody wanted the good governance practice mean say you have your own company whatever the transaction you done with the people you have to record summarize analyze and then finally you have to prepare the financial statement you can't hide certain things when you hide it that's very dangerous dangerous to the profession dangerous to the normal public general dangerous to the whole economy this is a corporate we call for us we call corporate governance the corporate governance we talk about a little later very important mba people like you right the corporate governances or uh, those are the very important uh, vital we call vital aspect of the accounting now when you look at the income statement you can see the during the year this is preparing for a year period when you look at the annual report every annual report is a big it's a it's a it's a book sometimes there are so many things there in the annual report nowadays in annual report lot of photographs are there right lot of photographs hmm? and chairman report general managers report all directors managers chairman huge pictures you can find out when you look at this annual report i told you so many uh, parts are there but financial statement part is the most important part i think the next week onwards everybody want to bring the annual report 
whether it's a soft copy or a hard copy, I don't ma matter. You need an annual reports in your company much better. And your company and your competitor both together, if you can win, much better. Then we do analysis based on the annual reports. Hmm? We calculate ratios, we calculate the good performances, bad performances. We study your company hmm? and your computer company, you can compare with that. That is really practically we do. From the next week onwards, you have to bring your laptop as well as the power cable, otherwise hmm, there are plug points here, right? You need a, a cable to plug in. Then the soft copy, or I think the uh, PDF, uh, easy, you can download. All companies annual reports you can download. Better to bring the annual reports initially, uh, not the bank. Banks have a little difference in the annual reports. I will teach you a little later. Other than the banks, try to find out the annual reports. Now, when you look at the income statement, one of the financial statements, there are a lot of financial statements. I told you one, two, three, four. Income statement, equity statement, cash flow, and financial performances we call balance sheet. These are we all together we call general purpose statement. General, not special purpose. General purpose. That is the, the nature of account in general purpose statement. General purpose. We give general purpose statement. All statements are common. General purpose means common statement we are giving. Even the medical doctor, even the accountant, even the engineer, everybody right have a same statement we are not giving a focused and specialized statement to the person to person not, not like a medical doctor you go and see the medical doctor check your blood pressure check your all the kind of a thing nowadays medical doctors want a lot of reports hmm? until your money is going there are a lot of reports he wants he look at all the medical reports so many reports then make a decision for you another another patient another report Person to person, even the lawyers also, person to person, how they charge, the profession is different. The way they handle it. But for accountants, that is the nature. We give one bulk, general. Every company, they prepare income statement. When you look at the income statement, at the end, company have a profit or loss you can identify. When you got the equity statement, how owner's wealth, owner's wealth, owner's right mean how owner's wealth have enhance go up you can see when you look at the equity statement when you look at the cash flow statement you can see how much a cash you received and how much a cash you paid and when you look at the financial performances we call performance of finance statement we call balance sheet right you can say what are the assets what are the liabilities in a given day the company is having these statements are we call general purpose statement every companies are preparing even non-listed companies like small and medium enterprises, they also prepare. They also having a same. They also have a same statement, but they are not disclosed. They they prepare their reports. One purpose is tax, income tax. They, every company want to pay tax. If you want to pay tax, you have to prepare this financial statement. It's compulsory, and for their own decision making purposes. They also are filing all these things for their purposes. But listed companies, they have to publish as an annual report, bulky report. Even university, even the banks, everybody prepare this. University also, we have all these statements, right? Now, when you look at all these statements, right, you can get some decision. Now, your main objective is to teach you how to develop how to prepare, initially you are going to learn income statement, equity statement, preparation of these all statements. After that, you go to real one. Real one you bring next week, then under real one, we will interpret it. 